up, you beautiful rejects? Just wanted to let you all know that we are coming to WonderCon, Greg Coy and myself, live Sunday, March the 26th, 11 a.m. to noon. Come join us for a discussion about the current state of the MCU and DCU fandom. Should be a blast. Now let's just jump into it. Citizens of the Reject Nation, welcome to another John and Coy watch DC animated films for the very, very first, first time. time. How you doing today, John? I am doing great. I'm excited for another big old team up event. How are you, Coy? You know why we're going to have the team of event? Because this is Justice League Gods and Monsters. Both gods and monsters. Ooh. I'm very intrigued because this is the name of James Gunn's chapter one. Now, if you watch these and enjoy them, as always, please do like, subscribe, comment. Let us know if you do think this is going to be any sort of inspiration for the gods and monsters to come. Let us know what you think of this whole series. Let us know if there's any certain ones you want us to watch. I want to thank a very special Ooh. G Fuel. Ooh, that's crisp. A very special. This is a uh, hype sauce, which I feel like would be my rap name. Yeah. Dude, would you like, would be hype sauce. Be hype sauce. Oh my if god! If there was like a group, like a modern day white Wu Tang. Yeah, I don't even know what that'd be. I'd be hype sauce. Hype Ugh. guys with two Z's. Hype guys. And I'd be coy yeah. boy of the hype guys. Coy boy of the hype guys. Guys, there is a discount code in yeah. the box below. Save yourself twenty percent on select tub. Also, like to thank Prepper for assembling these clips. We appreciate them very, very much. That also being said, if you want to watch this all the way through, beginning to end, this whole journey of the movie, can't show you the movie because it's owned by Warner Brothers. We are neither brothers, Warner. But you can watch on HBO Max over at the Patreon, where you can become a super sexy reject and watch our watching faces. Just like that, if you want to do it, get over there. But if you want to watch us, watch it here. Stay right here. Hit play, because we're about to watch Gods and Monsters. Same logo for the first time. It's like we're watching them in order. Perhaps. Who's in the sea? Who's in the sea? I want to know every time. No one. It's because all the justice they combine is pure white. Suspect. They just they, the whole team. They just gathered together. <laughs> the whiteness league. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on who's cast. <laughs> Krypton. That was seismic magnitude nine point eight. All I have to do is add my genetic code. Just one fingerprint. Whoa. Maybe you shouldn't have said it. Out loud. Zod. Damn it. You've destroyed this planet. I was given insufficient data. Zod, please. I like the tweaks to his face to make him look like he is related to Superman. Yeah. My army needed the energy. Your numbers were inconclusive, useless. I had the will. I will find him. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's seed is going to be spread to the heavens, it will be mine. Upon your egg, I bestow my eminence. Oh, <laughs> oh that's hot. Ours will be the last child of Krypton. Oh, is this how it's an Elseworld? Because it's Zod, baby. Damn. Cal Zod. Interesting. Calzone. Mmm, Calzone. Sounds great right now. After this, you and me. Straight up Calzone time. That's our shawarma. Oh, yeah, dude. We should... We should have calzones every time we film one of these. <laughs> Grab your calzone. It's time for DC time animated. For DC. <laughs> that it goes together very well. Like a Saturday morning cartoon calzone. Sure. <laughs> Saturday morning calzone. That's all I want now. That man enjoys a good calzone. Zod. 100%. Calzod, absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Benjamin Bratt. Ooh. I love this. Little Michael C. Hall? Dexter's hey. in this? Also, a very different cast. Tamara Taylor. I don't think I recognize any of these names from the past ones yet. No. Elseworlds voices, Elseworlds story. I'm very intrigued. It's got a very big cinematic scope so far. Mm hmm. And I like that they're doing like an opening title sequence. Yeah, it feels like a yeah. movie. Like, like a real movie? It's like a real movie? Not like a fake movie like they draw with these animated things. Harry Styles understands. <laughs> he does. It's like a real movie. We love you, Harry Styles. Oh, baby Calzot. Ooh. Whoa. For a second, I thought it's directed by C. <laughs> I <Julio>. did too. <laughs> I was like, what was he? <laughs> Stock photos directing DC, Shang-Chi. <laughs> Ooh. In the sperm vessel. I know. I love that the ship even looks like a sperm. The art reminds me more of Superman the Animated Series. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought his face looking so much like Cal Well was interesting. Kent Mansley. <laughs> I work for the government. <laughs> He's already out. 
what was in it. The farmer said it was open oh. when he found it. I was wondering if that was going to be him with the hair. I want the ship taken to Star Labs. Code black, Sergeant. None of this gets out. The aging of Lex is always interesting because I always think of him as being the same age as Clark because they grew up together in the continuity, like the main continuity. Mm. But if, you know, maybe Zod was the one that released him different age, but because they look younger than Mom. I'm very, we'll see, we'll see. Choices. It's an interesting way to adjust the allegorical quality of the Superman story too. Right yeah. Now. Superman, where are you? We found their bunker under the Casmian embassy. Don't do anything until we get there. Stay back. Super Zod listens to Steve Trevor. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just murking fools. Ah! Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Of those deflections. Who's oh, a vampire? Who is this? Reveal yourself. Ah. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, whoa! whoa! Full blood, bloody spat. That wow. was intense. Yeah. Ooh. Kidney shot. God damn it! Hug. Sound design's great. <sighs> yes. Drain him. Technically, it's off limits to law enforcement. Technically, we're not the police. The old lady's not gonna like this. She'll be positively orgasmic. Oh. <laughs> She'll think it's Christmas. I'm pretty sure Michael C. is the vampire, which is frankly typecasting. <laughs> Let my man live. Never gets to not deal with blood. Well, the Bible saith, I am the Lord your God. You shall have no other gods before me. Thanks for sale. Who watches the watchman? <laughs> and sell stuff. Yeah, I know. I love I, that. I like the capitalism walkthrough. The victims were part of a terrorist organization. One. What about the Justice League? It's not like we haven't been warned. What the government has sanctioned is more than a Whoa, got to swap. keep a little... The ties between the Oval Office and the Tower of So-Called Justice will finally fray. Then who will be in control? Not you, buddy. That one change is odd to him in the whole world. That's, that's cool. All those little dots down there connected to a single productive purpose. A world brought together as one under us. With plenty of protest merch. You just got less sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh, extreme. Oh, extreme. <laughs> Haven't you seen the thing man kill it with fire? Immediately. The thing's great. Yeah, check out Koi and Roxy's <laughs> reaction when it's up. <laughs> Had never seen it. He's got Batman Beyond vibes. I was just about to say that, yeah. Oh. Dang. I like Elseworlds. This is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for the new DC, they could do only L. What, the little horse? Or giant man. I only wish I could be there when the Senate committee gets a load of this pony show. Little horse. <laughs> Molecular miniaturization. A big idea for a shrinking world. It's a good slogan. Now, where's your horse-sized chicken? Ooh, who'd win in a fight? That's the Atom. Wowie! Hoo, 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 nice. Remember how you wanted stables in the backyard? We might have the room after all. <laughs> Call me back. <laughs> Whoa! Damn it, Terry McGinnis. Oh, it's not the nicest in this universe. He's got to terminator him. Yeah. Ow. But the little horses. Ah. Oh. Okay, at least two made it. They'll repopulate out in the wild. <laughs> Create a whole new species of horse. <laughs> oh, 
I just wanted to destroy this car. As you are, citizen. <laughs> I hate a gas guzzler. <laughs> <laughs> Big hybrid, just making choices with hybrid people. <laughs> Oh, oh no! No! P fifty two. Why'd you have to eat the mini horse? That's the circle of life. You know? Ugh. I mean, us all. mini horses are not yet part of the circle of life. This is an abomination. <laughs> we had two. Since when does the Justice League have a jurisdiction? Come on, Kirk. It's Ray. But it's not going to win me any friends with the local cops. So people don't like you anyway. <laughs> And that doesn't bother me at all. I am bad person. One more micro booster and I could take out a tank. Now will you tell me? Come on, Dad. What was he like? What'd he say? He was tall. <laughs> he said he had a job for me. And I'm doing it. But I did see Wonder Woman. Tell me. Tell me. And don't say she was tall. Hey. She was... 5-4. Oh, <laughs> oh, no! Oh. The hell's that? It's a no move. My Hero Academia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take out the no move. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. He gonna become the cyborg. Oh. oh. And then Great instincts. Every universe. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I guess we don't get a cyborg in this multiverse. Maybe they'll fuse together like a Cronenberg cyborg. Yeah. A Cronenborg. Cronenborg. I'd watch that. I'll write that comic. <laughs> this is a crime scene. I won't touch a thing. Your boyfriend has a lot of nerve. He's not my boyfriend. And yes, he does. Is it just me or do her shoulder plates say ho? <laughs> <laughs> Think your logic will persuade this guy? Stone isn't our only dead scientist. How fast can you get back here? Damn, they just stone cold murked the both of them. Yeah. Presumably by the ice he hit on the way down. Nah. He bled to death. Yes, except they can't find the blood. There should have been a pool of frozen blood around the neck. Just doing Dexter dialogue, too. <laughs> I, know. I know a lot about blood. <laughs> Plasma. Pooling. Someone's actually trying to frame the Justice League. Who would have the balls? What an idiot. It's not be long before the police start putting it together. Her shoulders do say how. Hey. <laughs> Definite. I didn't want to be that guy. But also... There they are. We've got to get ahead of this thing. That includes the media. Someone's trying to screw with us, and they're going to be damn sorry. I also like that when he speaks Spanish, there's no subtitles, so it's like just where he's from. Yeah. Like, they should have Superman speak, like, hella languages. It's a cool... I would like, yeah. Right? right? Cuz like why wouldn't Man he know the world? Yeah. yeah. And he can't you can't tell me he can't learn a few languages. Everything. <laughs> John Henry Arts. Steel makes it in this world. As long as we get to see Steel, I'm good. <laughs> Another cameo where he's got a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Luther in the middle? You okay? I gotta finish my lab work. Oh, before he was a vampire. You're coming to the party tonight. You don't want to make Tina mad. You know how she gets. Give in to peer pressure. <laughs> no. It's okay, man. You'll find love. Yeah. Or vampirism. One of the two. Yeah. Something with hearts. <laughs> missing the party sorry but i think i'm getting close to something the coefficient on the blood coagulants is almost matching hey get your ass up we're late yeah you nerd <laughs> put away the bat stats just for one night for me for you mm. okay that's enough convincing let's move 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 <laughs> crazy ivy's bringing her homegrown oh homegrown uh-oh <laughs> I like that's her relationship to plants in this. <laughs> yeah. Loves the herb. <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, it makes sense, man. I respect it. Probably half the universe I mean, in college, out there. She must be, yeah. She'd make the best mushrooms, poison ivy mushrooms. Oh. <sighs> oh. You okay? Yeah, I feel fine. Is there garlic in here? <laughs> this designated driver is going home. But baby, I'm the designated boyfriend. You need to drive me. Come on. Oh, whoa. Whoa. The bat venom almost eradicates the lymphoma, but the cell structure breaks down even as it forms. The... Oh. <sighs> Dr. Michael Morbius. <laughs> Just ignore... Oh, I thought they were going to be like, it's fine. I can't say that I understand it all, but I see what you mean about using nanotech. Is that my research? How'd you get my password? Batman? Yeah. 
He's not gonna get any better lying on his ass. Anyway, school's over. We could use a science project. This is my favorite polyamorous relationship. Yeah, they're very cute, the <laughs> three of them. <laughs> Rest in peace. Third wheel Kirk over <laughs> <Rome> Nation <laughs> solution. Also, he just threw a bunch of mice in the trash. That's messed up. I think you did it, Will. You laid the brick. I just plastered. We could still use another test. No. Oh, yeah. Morbius and up. Let's do this. It's Mormon time. Just look away. Jesus, here. Even animated, man. Yeah, I don't like needles. Oh, <laughs> they managed <laughs> to make <laughs> me uncomfortable with drawing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Whoa. Whoa. Definitely got them dramatic. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh. nice. Yes. That's how he knows. Give in to the thirst. Bite his head like a lost boy. Hey. Vampire with a reflection. Because he's a bat man. Does this flash drive look like him? <laughs> Branding like Batman. It's always got symbols. Yeah. Bat drive. This is much more of a boys esque universe. It very much so. Especially the relationship between Superman and Wonder Woman. Yeah. Would Mr. Trevor's investigation include the Justice League? I don't know if you've read the crime reports, Pete, but they have some nasty implications. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Mind if I come in? By all means. <laughs> it's not often we get a strange visitor from another planet. What brings you? I like Superman hovering ominously instead of like. As hope. Yeah. Sneaking up on people. Mm hmm The fact is, he was working for me. On what? I could show you if you'd like. You never let the press inside the tower. I'm reconsidering. Like hell, let's go. Adios mio. <laughs> for the building would provide a shield that makes it virtually impenetrable. My god. Even the rumors about this place don't do it justice. <gasps> justice. League? <laughs> Gotta say it. Yep. Now we know. <laughs> Definitely Superman. <laughs> Confirmed. Files were heavily damaged during the ship's trek to Earth. That's why I enlisted Professor Stone's help. All we have are the last moments on Krypton. Daddy. Boop. <laughs> this is straight up spin control. So here I am, getting the full court press on the Man of Steel's human side. If that's not an oxymoron. <laughs> Luthor was a frustrated elitist whose influence was waning. Sure. I was raised by a migrant couple. I've seen the harshness of life. Mm. But I'm here when my country needs me. And where's Lex Luthor? Gone. Sorry to interrupt, but there's a call. On the Justice phone. <laughs> that's a fun take. I like the parenting pivot to, like, how he perceives the world. Mm-hmm. Needless to say, this is a conversation we never had. But I want you to know that forensics- Amanda Waller? President Waller. If things get difficult, I won't be able to protect you. Protect me from who? Who do you think protects whom here? <laughs> Yeesh. You know, politically protect you. You get it, man. Definitely got them grammatically, though. That whole who whom thing was pretty good. Hello, Batman. Is Professor Magnus available? What the hell's wrong with you? Busy. <laughs> They are all a bunch of cold-blooded killers. Not Kirk. He's a freaking vampire, for Christ's sakes. He only kills criminals. <laughs> Just because you're best buddies doesn't mean you're safe. If Freeze and the others are on their list, we all are. And I'm not just going to sit around and wait to see who's next. So this reminds me a lot of authority. I'm really curious if this is the way that Gunn's going to play that. She's under the impression that the Justice League is killing off America's greatest scientists. She's a scientist. She sees patterns. Mm -hmm. Aha! What aren't you telling me, Will? Ne sais pas un pipe. Ceci n'est pas un pipe. Stupid is stupid. I want to take an EQ test. That's cool. But if I thought there was anything you should know, I wouldn't hold back. What about Project Fair Play? Ooh, Mr. Terrific! Fair Play? It appears to be a program Luthor started. What does it have to do with this? Nothing, Kirk. If I knew, I would tell you. Kirk? Oh. What's going on? Oh. Your husband isn't much help. You know how Will is. So sure of himself. He can be too clever for his own good. Hey, Willie style. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't let anything happen to you. Or Will. You either, Tim. Thank you, Batman. Oh, MVP. 
Worry you're in as much danger as any of us. I know, the skin is cold, but the heart's still warm. <laughs> Kiss right in front of Will. Just get that polyamorous relationship. Just settle it. <laughs> Pretty good with the bow staff. <laughs> Steve Trevor Wonder Woman. You don't fool me, Becca. I know why you're here. You want to know what forensics has. <laughs> She's dressed like one of the new gods, so I'm curious her origins here. How about a wager? I win, I get the information. You win, you get me. Hey, hey, hey. We both know you're 50 times stronger than I am. It's not about strength, it's about agility. We can both get what we want. Oh, you think the big guy's gonna like that? He's not my boyfriend. Oh. I belong to no man, not Superman, not you. So long for that info. Piss off Wonder Woman. You belong to someone once. I told you that in a moment of weakness. Benching 405, I'm impressed. All right, all right. Ray Palmer's body was found slashed in half. They're pretty sure they've ID'd the weapon. It's only leg press and 90, but he's benching 405. Don't skip leg day, bro. <laughs> I saw that leg press machine. Not important, man. I just want those biceps. Just want to be top heavy, Steve Trevor. Tomorrow at this time, we not only merge kingdoms, but families. Grandma. Yeah, Mr. Miracle. Yeah. First time I've seen him in anything animated. Hey. History will praise your courage and sacrifice. You have a world counting on you. Then get some sleep. We have a momentous day ahead of us. Feels like a Bible movie right now. Yeah. Like sci -fi Swords Bible and movie. sandal, like sci-fi epic. Yeah. Ooh. The thing with DC live action you could do is there's so many different tones and worlds they could play with. Like, New Gods is crazy rich. You're going to find out I'm not much for rules. I also tend to get my way. Hop on. No, thank you. You're not afraid, are you? I'm never afraid. Then come with me. Get on my floating treadmill. Show new world. Don't you dare close Better hold tighter than that. This is tight enough. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's straight up is Aladdin. <laughs> it's like the. <laughs> I love it. Shining, shimmering, splendid. <laughs> uh, Shiny. <laughs> you know, if you sync up this with the Aladdin soundtrack, it actually it totally matches plays. perfectly. It's the Warner Brothers Disney collab that never happened. The Amalgam <laughs> Universe. This is my special spot. This is where I come to think. About what? You. Ooh. Eyebrow maintenance. <laughs> it's for you. Oh. The blade was forged by our finest swordsmith. It's virtually indestructible. Inside the pommel is a mother box. It will take you anywhere you want to go. Ooh. Damn. What a gift. It is my wedding gift. Keep it at your side. The sword will protect you when I cannot. That's a boss proposal. That's a good move. Oh, a little nose nuzzle. A little cute little moment. Look at them. I think of Orion as a bit more of a dick in the comics, but Elseworld, maybe he's the good guy. Gotta twist him somehow. Gotta, gotta make it work. I now declare your spirits as one. Well. A whole movie about that woman. Oh, <laughs> Granny Goodness is fantastic. I love her, dude. Oh, that's Granny Goodness. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool, cool. I want Margot Martindale to play her. Can you imagine a Margot Martindale Granny Goodness New Gods movie? Oh. It's so good. <laughs> the movie I never knew I absolutely needed I'd watch my a life. solo Granny Goodness movie if it's Margo Bartdale. Sure. <laughs> never miss, man. So good. Come, let's go. Becca. It's over. No. We can be together. I think you're together. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, I mean, his people are being eradicated. Damn. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Ooh, right in the... Shin. Ooh. Whoa. For nope side. Should have gone with her, boy. <laughs> oh, oh. I said I would spare him for you. Even if he had lived, what life could you have had with him? Wow. He was Darkseid's blood, one of countless bastards in a line of endless betrayal. Good touch with the eyes. I would have warned them all. I would have shouted to the skies. 
Trust not the monster High Father. He is mad with power. Silence. Yeah. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Mother boxed out. Yeah. Now I'm an Earthling, kinda. Aww. I was wondering how she was a New Gods Wonder Woman. That's really interesting. Be there as soon as I can. Oh. He's got to do Batman stuff. Right. Maybe we should go public. It'll be in the government's lap. Yeah, let's make them mad at yeah. us, too. It's not as if they're protecting us. Oh, yeah. It's cool that each one is, like, sort of subtly designed after them, then. Yeah, I like that. Or I guess maybe not so subtly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Oh! Dang! Oh. Dang! See, the other thing about these elsewhere is you can just, just mark anybody. Marking fools left and right, <laughs> eviscerating. Wow! A horrible way to go! Whoa! Whoa! Damn. Come on, Bat Dexter. Oh, no, oh, not the little robot did. body. No. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that going well. What's Polly going to do? Oh, Tina. oh, oh. Ah. But, but her unrequited love for... The thruple is over. Oh, wow. Damn, dude. Everybody. Cold. <laughs> I didn't ex I thought they were going to be the only two survivors. Didn't expect it. Who are you? Damn it. Just I mean, you guys are pretty fast. There. Yes, I know. It's a thing. They're just <laughs> casually Superman's walking watching. into these portals, these boom tubes. Everyone's dead. I hear a heartbeat. Oh. Ooh. Freddy Krueger. We got a house full of dead scientists, and we're no closer to solving this thing. There is someone who could help, but you're not going to like it. Oh, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Okay, he's, he's in outer space. Luther? <laughs> 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 the most Lex Luthor will stare down, little button press. Wowie, what a good cool. shot. Cool. <laughs> taking his sweet ass Saunter side in. Too. Great use of, of the hovering. <laughs> the whole video, yeah. I began it years ago in case the human race needed to neutralize the Justice League. Dang. Superman, in case we had to kill you. <laughs> Just in case you weren't clear on what I meant by I'm going to spell it out real quick. <laughs> the Justice League may be a three-headed Hydra, but there's only one head that truly counts. You've hated me from day one. Unassailable power is never to be trusted. And you're a Mexican. Luther, real racist. <laughs> if you're pulling the strings, Luthor, again, you misread me. I never really cared for power. What I coveted was knowledge. Oh, knowledge is power, though. Most of this is based on Kryptonian science, which I downloaded from the ship that brought you to Earth. Those files were damaged. No. Nah. You bastard. You had no right. Those files are mine. They're my legacy. Would you like to see your legacy? <laughs> oh. His name was Jor-El, the leading scientist on the planet Krypton. The woman is his wife, Lara, your mother. Lex still gets to break him. <laughs> Oh boy. He drilled into Krypton's core to power his military machine. A fatal mistake. It's not everyone who can witness their own conception. Sure. Why did you keep this from me? I was afraid you'd emulate your father. Better you should think he was a hero. But you are no wow. hero. You're just a pit bull. Oof. Mr. Worldwide. Project Fairplay worked. They can kill you now if they want. In some ways, I'm as much your creation as my father's. Wow. I like that he knew where the camera was. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make this ominous. Oh, no. No. Ooh. I mean, how to frame him. Luthor's ship was destroyed. 
Then they've killed them all. We start fair play. Evacuate Metropolis. Damn. Yeah. We could give ourselves up. <laughs> Get a lawyer. Someone out there is playing us. And we're not going to find him in police custody. Who's the best lawyer in the DC universe? Matt Murdock. <laughs> Get the amalgamated going. Be a hell of a webcast. If we live through it. Lois, on it's on that camera? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's Wi-Fi compatible. <laughs> Cool. Nice. <laughs> Again, great use of the float. Like, why walk if you can ominously hover? Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. What did you... What Ooh, the... that? Oh, no. Whoa. Oh. What? Uh, at two, Tim? Gotta be killed by your friends. Oh, you know, she can't leave him. Whoa! <laughs> what a choice! Why does she have robot nips? What a, what a <laughs> so conflicted at this moment. <laughs> we have a witness to our innocence recovering inside. You'll see him when I say. Not this time, buddy. Ooh. Oh! Got kryptonite in there. Jeepers. Cool. Nice. Ooh, yep. Yeah. yeah, this is only gonna get uglier. Where is Tina? She's dead. I killed her. Wow. About a year into our marriage. It was an accident, I assure you. <laughs> Bro! You see, I always knew she loved you. Bro! Even back in college, she was only really happy when the three of us were together. Aww. Even after I turned you into a monster, even after that, she still wanted you. Ouch. Wow. Will, Will, Will! She never let up! And finally one day, I'd had it and I Ouch. hit her! Her head struck a table. Ooh! Ah. That's when I came up with her twin. She's made from a platinum isotope that can mimic human flesh. Ooh. When I killed Tina, I had a revelation, Kirk. We're capable of such a monstrous act. Then what hope is there for humanity? <coughs> Change the world, like Luthor said. No more personal anguish. No more hatred, no more guilt. If I'm a piece of shit, everyone's worse. <laughs> yep. This tube will plant a nanite into someone's head. Everyone will be connected as one, even the Justice League. So why haven't you done this already? I needed an energy source strong enough to power it. Oh, and they've got that in-house. He is the perfect cipher for all of humanity. Though. I mean, he, he gets it. Yeesh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is pretty devastating. Jeez. <laughs> I want to point a helicopter at another helicopter. Sometimes we got to do. Oh, get us out. Yeesh. Oh. You neutralize your mother box, Wonder Woman. By the gods, it was good use there. That's clever, the connection of Wonder Woman and this Wonder Woman. I like yeah. that. Shoot with that giant webcam in this universe. <laughs> I thought he was dead. Unfortunately, I can't teleport through those walls. Uh, Trevor, you ass. <laughs> it's Magnus. If we don't stop him, he's going to take our minds. And I, for one, would like to keep mine. And so Luther teams up with Superman again. Activate the ship's core. Activate the butt shot. I mean, it's just leaning all the way in. <laughs> I watched one madman destroy my home world. I'm not going to let another harm this one. Aww. Becoming the hero. That's right. Oh no. Yeah. Yeesh. Oh, oh, buddy. He has to go again. Ooh. Oh. He was Why? my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, vampire v vampire. Oh, there he is. Let's do this. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> my penthouse. I, I like to get off my plane moment for grizzled Harrison Ford Superman. 
gooey oh, yeah. mega Batman Beyond villain guy. Ooh. Now his logo's a donut. <laughs> this doesn't stand for hope. <laughs> it stands for snacks. <laughs> It is like those things from My Hero Academia. It even yeah. heals like them. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be some level of inspiration, I would imagine. It seems like it. She even looks like the girl from The Authority. It is really interesting that we'll talk about it after. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's just start the review right now. Right now. Right, right as the third <laughs> act is crescendoing. Maybe people will actually watch the review now. <laughs> <laughs> Teaser. It's over, Will. Not yet. How do you like them apples? I've made a fairly strong recovery. Oh. Ah. Man, I'd strength. Whoa. Ooh. There it is. Ooh, sweet. Oh. Go. Burned all your mother boxes. No more disappearing acts for you. Yeah. Sometimes it's a punch in the face. That's what you gotta sure do. Enough. A Superman punch. Oh, <laughs> into the core. <laughs> yeah. yeah, melt them. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's that so is cool. so hardcore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, lava punch. Oh, it's metal. <laughs> Damn, starting to crack. Ew. Alex Mack. <laughs> this guy reminds me so much of Rob Stark. Oh, yeah. That actor's name. <laughs> Richard Madden? Yeah, there you go. There you go. He'd be a good Batman. Sure. Oh, jeez. Nanites. Yeah. <laughs> what do they do? Oh. Everything. <laughs> Let's go, more bats. <laughs> That's good. More baddest. I like it. Yeah. You, who only loved your bats and test tubes. Wrong. I love two people in my life, and now they're both gone. It was a polyamorous relationship. It's a beautiful after thing. All. Ruined. Ooh. Yeesh. Yeah, I'm not sure what would harm a liquid metal woman. Fry, bitch. Ah, yeah. clever. <laughs> she said her to the sun. <laughs> Everybody's got to go to the sun or a magma pit. Got to melt them down. Punch the nanites out. Go ahead. Bet you taste like crap. <laughs> Bert. He does. He tastes like nanites. The ship's core is destabilizing. Oh. Come on, Superman. Fly that damn sperm ship to the <laughs> stars, Superman. Ooh. It's funny how things can change so quickly. After a while, you don't even recognize yourself anymore. Well, I mean, your face is pretty mangled. <laughs> Forgive me, Kirk. Oh. Ooh! Is it pot one pipe? That's a way to go. I just thank heaven they were here to protect us. We need to shake things up a bit. Change the way we do things. No more politics. No more killing. Okay. I'm a vampire. <laughs> it's time already. Ceremonial cape. Our beautiful Becca is leaving us. The problems of my past linger in ways yours do not. It's time I went back and faced them. She has a co-conspirator. Oh, ho, ho. You come to me if you need help. I have something for you too, Superman. Your info. The original files from your ship. No. Oh. Aren't they supposed to be with the government? You know how things get lost in bureaucracies. Hmm? Be a real hero. My man. Yeah, knowledge is power. Shall we? Please, allow me. 
let you go, Jean Grey and Professor X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hover chair, bald guy, redhead, superpower duo. Yes, yeah, let's do this, man. I'm, I'm here for it. <laughs> Why don't we get started? I could use a science project. Time to look ahead, Kirk. The past is like another planet. Uh, <laughs> Best thruple. Best thruple. Rest in peace. The moral is lean into polyamory at the cost of the world's <laughs> sake. Otherwise. Yep. Absolutely. Jason Isaacs was Lex Luthor. Okay. See Thomas Howell. Baker was right. Yeah, see Thomas Howell. Paget Brewster was Lois Lane. All right, I was wrong. We got a D. Bradley yeah, Baker. Yeah, doing the Ray Palmer work. Not bad, not bad. Yuri! Yuri was Jor-El. That's awesome. Yuri's ah. voice is Spider-Man PS4, buddy of mine. Love uh, that man. Oh, what it do, what it do. That's good to see. That's what's up. Amanda Waller, created by credit. I like seeing comic names in here. We got some Marv Wolfman, John Byrne, Jerry Ordway, John Ostrander, Louis Simonson, John Bogdanovi. I don't actually know that name. Uh, Neil Adams, Jack Kirby. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's rad. Yeah. Good to see the love. Good. To... Uh, I struggled with that one. Really? Oh, let's hear it. I think that my... Okay, so I've talked uh, at, at decent length about my struggle with animation and connecting with characters because... I connect with like the actor's interpretation, the the soul of the actor, my association with the actor, my association with the character, all those things. Sure. So I generally am a live action person because of that. I think since I didn't know this world, I didn't know this else world. Like I will totally own that I didn't know who people were. I don't know if what this is based off of. This was not something I was familiar with. Okay. Since I didn't know the IP, since I didn't know the characters, since I didn't know uh, how to connect, I really struggled to be invested in anyone. Because I didn't have the baseline. And I think this is one of the examples where animation, when it's an adaptation of the story, I know I can put myself beyond my struggle. But since I didn't know the story and it was animated, I struggled with it. I can see what you mean. I had a lot of fun watching this, but it does feel like if I had, if this was like the sequel to something, yeah. I would have felt probably a lot more deeply invested it's like i was really interested in the ideas and the and it was really fun to be presented with these takes on the characters uh but yeah it's like i don't walk out of this feeling like i have a great idea of who kirk is or who becca is right or, you know that uh side of it and i feel like they make so many interesting choices especially like i, I love that uh, little Superman, you know, lands on the other side of the border and comes up in a different way. And like, that's something I would watch, you know, even more flashbacks. About right, and right, like right, that. right. And, and like how that changed his perspective on like how and how they raised him. Yeah. And it's like they they did and they put in an effort to like disperse these flashbacks throughout the movie where you see, you know, the sort of origin of Kirk's version of Batman. You see what happened with uh, Wonder Woman before she came to Earth and all that stuff, or at least in this, you know, iteration came to Earth. Yeah. And and yeah, like those things were really interesting. And I almost feel like this, while very fun and enjoyable to me, would have played yeah with much deeper investment had we seen those as like movies or something like that. any you sort know? of connection i feel like would have and, and like i'm connected to the voice actors like i was invested in batman because michael c hall yeah. but i wasn't that invested in this batman like and they gave us a lot of backstory in this batman they that, that was kind of the core of it and i just couldn't find myself going like i want to be in this story more and like wonder woman's backstory is great because i care about the new gods in a unique way but like I never felt fully immersed. Like seeing this image of Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, I'm more interested in the one in the background. And that's hard <laughs> because that's just like the loyalty I have for those archetypal characters. Like those are the characters I'm with. And I was wondering when I watched like um, the Batman and Robin uh, movie that kind of played with the Grant Morrison stuff, right? Since I knew that, I was excited for like seeing some of the things adapted to animation. But Turtles and versus Batman, like <laughs> there's no... There's no canon comic that I could have read to be adapted for, but since I love the Turtles and love Batman, yeah. I was excited for that playfulness. So yeah. I think it's uniquely when it's fully removed, and that often makes me wonder if that's how people that aren't invested in comic boom movies watch them. Like, maybe that's how Scorsese sees them. Like, you know, he's just the, the one you sure. bring up. Like, I don't think eh. Scorsese is the villain of the story. A lot of people think that when I say that, I'm like, screw Scorsese. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he might not invest in much the way that I struggle to invest in things like this. Yeah, I can absolutely see that. And to, yeah, it's like I would imagine that partly maybe, if I can lay an assertion, maybe what helps with 
uh, you know, your investment into various of these animated movies is that, yeah, you have certain of those touchstones with not as necessarily like a physical face of an actor, but, you know, you have the character, their legacy, this comic book run. All of my association with it. All of your association with that stuff. And yeah, here, yeah, it's like I can imagine a Scorsese not having any of those things coming into various, you know, superhero, even live action movies and being like, yeah, you know. Uh, maybe fun, but yeah, I'm not really super invested or moved by any of this. Yeah, and uh, and e- yeah, it's like I can because I think the way this Justice League is portrayed, and you know, it's like Kirk Batman is very you know stoic, very, very stoic, stoic, yeah, yeah, very stoic and and very sort of calm of energy, and even Superman is sort of similarly stoic. Yeah, it's like they all have attitude, they all have personality, but they all are a bit reserved a bit stoic and i i don't know there's like some kind of dynamic that could have bridged it's like if you had like at least one like overtly fun character right. that tie it together or things like that like the seven has uh elements of like nuanced uh passion yeah. even beyond the stoicness of like homelander right like but homelander you get to invest in a different way yeah. but even with homelander you need other characters to buoy that and then yeah. you've got the boys who you're rooting with and for while enjoying the seven. We don't really have the eyeline of the boys here. We don't really have the Steve Trevor backstory. We don't really have anyone that we're like the eyeline of. Yeah. And I think that, you know, starting this out with your preconceived notions of like, oh, OK, Zod and, and the destruction of Krypton. And oh, wait, OK, so this is, you know, Zod's child now and and uh, Lara, uh, Zor-El and, and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And uh, and so. I feel like because you're already getting used to and swallowing that, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that then adds to those other elements of, of you know, the personality portrayals and, and things like that that makes, yeah, something that amounts to something that has, like, more interesting ideas than, like, a truly syn- uh, synthesized execution. Yeah. Like, and, and again, like, I, I don't dislike this, and I had a lot of fun with it, but but yeah, it is I'm one I'm glad those... to have seen it, but I definitely am, uh, this brought out all the flaws that I have with my experience. Like, and I'm not judging this, it's how I perceive it. Yeah, and it's like, I almost wish this had been, like, an hour and a half or something like that. Something, like I don't even know what. 10 or 15. Yeah. Just because, I think just to, to really let you endear to these different takes on these characters because I think there is an element where because they are an edgier version of the team I don't think in the first half until it really becomes clear that they're being set up and then they decide to be more benevolent in the way that they go about you Mm -hmm. know helping the citizens of earth I feel like you spend the first half going like am I do I like these guys am I sure I'm supposed to like these guys am I sure I'm supposed to root for these guys like and 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 not that you can't have compelling antiheroes and stuff like that, but it just wasn't a hundred percent. I wasn't sure if I was going to, you know, be rooting against these guys at some point, right? You know, for a little while, anyway. And that's also tricky. The DC animated films being so edgier with their Superman, being yep. so edgier yeah. with their Wonder Woman, and and that's what I I started alluding to earlier was the authority is a team of heroes that operate above government that operate outside of the law that like do their own thing. That's a commentary in the justice league. Like Midnighter is Batman. Apollo is Superman. But what's interesting is this is very similar in those parallels in that the female lead of authority actually looks like that robotic woman. And that, uh, the portrayal of Apollo and Midnighter, they weren't a couple here, but they, were more dark and more leaning into killing. I'm wondering if if it's called Gods and Monsters, what James Gunn is building, I don't think he's adapting this by any means, but I'm <laughs> wondering now if there'll be a story similar to this with the authority where we don't sure. know if we like them, and then as we invest in them, there is that face turn versus a heel turn. Yeah. And we you. start a movie with a darker, edgier team like this, and then there's a moment where we realize we rely on them. Yeah. And I wouldn't have necessarily that. assumed that without this Gods and Monsters subtitle. And, like, what does it mean for James Gunn making Gods and Monsters? Will we see new gods things? Will we see a Mr. Miracle and McBarda, which is my dream? Will we see the the whole world they they describe here because of this subtitle? I'm, I'm really curious how the subtitle relates to what this – Thing James Gunn is building with his giant chapter one, which he just revealed is only half revealed, which is crazy. At least, admittedly, uh, I know. Well, and that's the fun part too is all that, all that, all that extra stuff to look forward to. And yeah, the the adaptation therein of just this, like, is is there like a, a definitive Gods and Monsters comic? I don't. Not there probably is. 
I, I'm not nearly as versed to know yes or but no. But not, not one of like I the don't know. well-renowned, yeah. you know, like, you know, I would, classic it, arcs. Not like the like Batman that. and Robin, I need a reference, and the woman's part. Like, the stuff that is referenced, nothing jumps to mind. I'm sure there is, and I'm sorry, audience, that's going to be very mad, and I forgot some classic Neil Adams <laughs> story or something, but not to my knowledge. And I didn't know this, so it was really interesting to, to learn. Yeah, and I mean, this tonally had elements where I could see certain, uh, at least thematic and aesthetic qualities carrying over into whatever James Gunn's making here. And I mean, this uh, certainly felt akin to like a Snyder take on yep. these things. Absolutely. In fact, watching this, I had a thought where I was like, man, Zack Snyder should have made like a bunch of Elseworlds shit. That's because- what I always <laughs> thought about his movies is they're, they're immaculate Elseworlds and the authority walked so the boys could run. Sure. So whenever we had boys moments in this, this came out in 2015. The authority came out in 99 or 2000. Okay. And that allowed the boys to thrive in 06. The boys came out in 06. So okay. there are, uh, there have always been like a uh, squadron Supreme, boys? but Marvel. Yeah. The comic boys. Uh, cause I came out my senior year of high school and I remember reading it and being like, Oh my God. Uh, cause the book is even more depraved than the show. Yes. I have heard. Uh, which is saying something. Uh, my buddy Derek Robertson is the artist on that. And it's crazy seeing how kind and sweet of a guy he is when I was exposed to him by like, what the fuck? Uh, but that said squadron Supreme was the Marvel version of like the Avengers being dark. And, and there's always been commentary like this. Zack Snyder did really good commentary on it, but it never felt like the characters. Sure. No disrespect, Snyder fans. That said, the authority, when he announced it, I was like, oh, that's genius. He's going to allow a darker commentary in universe. Yeah. And then things like this allow for that. But we still need to connect to them for the commentary to work. And I do feel like it took longer than was healthy for the for the movie's sake yeah and it's funny because this movie uh, thinking back on all the all of these that we've watched now and and you know when we eventually if we ever eventually do that that ever ranking, makes sense uh <laughs> i'm very excited but but it's it's now that we've seen a few and we have some that are like oh these are yeah slam dunk dynamite and then they're they're luckily there haven't been any like oh that was tough so far but True. there are at least a couple where we've been like oh yeah like this was fun but i had my issues with it and of all i would put that in this category but yeah, I would say that of all the ones we've had that response to, this one I think had the most, my favorite array of intriguing ideas. It's like, in the immediate experience of it, sure, there's more they could have done to endear me to this set of characters, to mm-hmm. this take on the world, to just make me not, you know, be aware of or self-aware sort of feeling like am i supposed to what am i supposed to feel right now yeah Uh, i do think that this has my favorite array of just concepts because i really like their superman here i I really Mm. like this take on a zod based superman and again his origin and how that is different and then seeing the new gods adjustment with wonder woman and having batman be morbius like and lex luthor like i love the idea of lex luthor here I think I was the most thematically invested, like you're saying, sure. but the story didn't grab me as much as most of the other ones. So it's interesting that I was thinking of the themes more than my connection to the characters. Yeah. So I, and I, I think and we're I would agree. something similar. Because, it, yeah, it's like you look at like a Justice League war and like, that's really fun. It's very immediate. But when it's done, you're, you, you kind of can. That's kind of it. Yeah. It's kind of that it doesn't leave you with that much more to reflect. Versus or, somehow Batman versus Turtles. Or like Arkham, like there's some that I'm just like, sure. yeah, like some of them I'll rewatch for the pure fun of it. Yeah. And this is more like, I like the themes presented. Yeah. Like, and that's, that's an interesting difference of experience. Yeah. And this is one where, where I would love to see more of these themes extrapolated somewhere, but, but yeah, it is, it is kind of an interesting, just, just balancing of the different tenets and themes because yeah in, in some ways I'm most conflicted about this. This has yeah. certain aspects that I like the most, but also you know, where a Justice League war maybe falls short and having, you know, that much more substance, it's still like very immediate and it gives you a couple clear cut, like, I don't know about this characterization. However, just the journey of having fun being with the Justice League, there's not too much to mm. swallow to know where your footing is in that world. So it is interesting. And I, yeah, fun, uh, weird headcanon that just happened. Sure. I always thought before Charlie Cox was cast uh-huh. and showed the perfect Daredevil because Charlie Cox is genius as Daredevil. Uh, Michael Ciala would be a great Daredevil because oh, cool. red hair uh, has like that very intense focus, yeah. has that really great delivery. Like he was always in my head. Like when Dexter was on, I always thought of him before Charlie Cox. 
Uh, I want to see him get buff and it, but do a it was funny. <laughs> I've always thought of not Batman and Iron Man paralleling because that's the obvious one, but the subtext of Bruce Wayne and Matt Murdock paralleling. Oh. I've always thought of Matt Murdock and and that character as much more like a Batman. Like I've always thought of when I think of the the parallels oh, sure. of Daredevil and Batman, I think of that before the the Bruce Wayne like Iron Man thing that everybody else talks about. He's every so, man Batman. Yeah, yeah. So it was funny watching this, hearing. Batman as Dexter and my brain going like that was my daredevil and it was just like ah. after all these years it was just funny to have an experience I'm like that's the closest I'll probably get but that was kind of nice and else world daredevil does uh, answer my noob question here does does Marvel's got two lawyers in their roster who are you Jennifer know, Walters and are, uh, Matt Murdock at least yeah who are, who are I can't arguing think the law of and law intervening in, on it. in the DC universe when was, you asked that I was like racking my brain I was like is there a version where Martian Manhunter decides to be a lawyer he just was like you day? know what I'm gonna use this data to, <laughs> to get my bar I'm gonna pass the bar sure. as Martian Manhunter Martian it seems, Manhunter it does seem like like a trope that you would still want to have in universe. It's really fun. But I, I also feel like in universe, DC does less um, full issue attention on the secret identity character. Sure. They're very much gods that walk amongst us, whereas like Marvel, and this is just black and whiting a very color scale, but Marvel is very much, what would it be like if everyone had the ability to get powers and the everyman had powers versus DC always felt like, what if these these beings were amongst us? Yeah. Like there's, a, a, I've always seen that slight separation. I think that's why we're less about the secret identity. Again, that's not, not always the case. Like Kyle Rayner, I consider much more amongst us than Hal Jordan. Like there's just a different flavor, but I think that makes it like me thinking of their jobs as less common. Because sure. I don't think of what they do like day to day. I think about like their super heroics. Yeah, that makes sense. But I think that's also, I hope the more I read DC that might shift. Uh, that's also what I hope to see from Clark Kent as intrepid reporter. Mm -hmm. uh, like, and, and I think like John Kent, which is a very interesting character in the comics right now, I'm very invested in his day to day life as well as him as a hero. And I think the modern society, like I think in the 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, we wanted to think of a larger than life characters. And now I think we're invested in both versions of them because mm -hmm. we want that nuance. So, yeah, that's I think that's part of I don't know. I feel like each of these kind of begs a little sprinkling of the thing that they're not as focused on. It's right. like in DC, it's like, yeah, I love the idea of gods and monsters and, and looking up instead of looking around. Right. But also, you know. Like the human, the human Finality. exploration is still very interesting, and that's part of the contrast. I think these characters exist to create, and I think you know you look at like a character like Superman, and even though I feel like Superman, Clark Kent has more of like an ingrained presence than mm. maybe even a Bruce Wayne. I mean, like those two to me of DC's characters have the most ingrained like public alter egos. I don't know exactly how much time is devoted to exploring those in the comics. Well, that's why I like Bruce Wayne so much is because he's three characters, not just two. Like yeah. there's the mask of Bruce, the real Bruce, and then the the Batman. But that's why I thought the Batman was so excellent is because the Bruce Wayne mask hasn't been developed yet. Yeah. So everyone totally. that said Pattinson played him underdeveloped, it was like, no, no, he hasn't developed the need for the character that is Bruce Wayne. And that's why I think long gaming the Batman is going to be so incredibly like passionate and interesting because he's going to he's going to we're going to see him in real time make the thing we connect with falsely. Yeah. And like that's what makes these characters so interesting is you can you can layer them so many different ways. That's another conversation. Sure. And that's what's interesting about these because, you know, these are compact movies. All of them. They're yeah. all roughly an hour and 10 to 15 minutes. And it's like each time is a bit of a dice roll because I, I'll just never say that it's not possible because I've seen certain of these, mm, certain of these land that even have a lot to, you could argue that Batman versus Ninja Turtles or something like that has a oh. lot to do or a flashpoint is a lot to do in an hour and 15 minutes and manages often and manages without ever feeling slight or feeling like it's that brief of a runtime or anything like that. And so something like this, I, I think, kind of feels like oh yeah there was a lot of stuff in here and it was all neat and interesting but it didn't get quite a chance to all be fleshed out in a way that i could 100 percent invest in yeah um which is just like you know it's bound to happen but i do think it's interesting because now having seen enough of these i'm like well you know, it's enough it seems like enough time i've seen stories right, like this that with I more characters possible. that seemed you know maybe a little more fleshed than this did yeah um, and I, but I also think it's the type of story they chose to tell. Like, I didn't understand the new gods in the comics. I didn't connect with them until Mr. Miracle, which is a fairly recent comic from Tom King and Mr. Odds that basically made Scott Free my eye line to the new gods. I didn't feel like we had an eye line to the new gods. And so, like, things like no. that make it so there's a disconnect that even time, I don't know if it would help. 
a lot of this did have that sort of disconnect, just kind of all around. Like even uh, Lois Lane isn't really an eye line or anything right. like that. Right, and Jimmy, this. I assume, was the webcam guy with the giant thing operator. We didn't even know his name. No, he's he's in the CIA. I mean, I mean obviously he's been he's been killed years ago. Uh, but that I think is going to do it for this this episode yeah. of uh, John and Coy watch DC animated for the first time. Title pending. Uh, I even this is in my bottom three, but even this I'm so glad to have seen, and that is a testament oh, yeah. to the power of DC animated. Like even the ones that I'm not like, <gasps> but I I do want to acknowledge the the difference in layering because we will at some point rank them, and I just feel like if we just love everything that that's not fair to them. So this one sure. is in the lower scale, but uh, still very glad to have seen it. Oh yeah. Uh, let us know in the comments which one you want us to watch next. Let us know what you thought of Gods and Monsters, and let us know if you think this is maybe a play on the authority that we might get adapted later. And also, when did um my hero academia start oh goodness. was it before 2015 because now know. i'm curious about the nobu what's that wait what are they called nobu uh, nobu nobu is a restaurant no <laughs> i was like that's almost right all right let's find out when did this series begin 2018 really that's it oh that's statewide that's in the states though Okay, okay, okay. The first season aired uh, in Japan up through April 2016. Original say? run says July 7, 2014 to present. So it, it sounds like All the right. Nomu and this were simultaneous. Okay. Because this came out in 2015. They would have been delving it in 2014. Interesting. Yeah, Who, I see. If you know in the comments if Nomu inspired these or this inspired Nomu or just parallels, let us know. If this is a comic character I don't know and I failed you, I apologize. Again, I'm trying to learn. Uh, that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Patron shout out. Patron shout out. Let's get it. Anissa. What's up? Anissa Oliva, one of our most enduring, one of our diest, hardest patrons here at the Patreon page of the super Live sexy. Freeze and dies hard. Absolutely. Cool I name. feel like it's oh, 100%. In fact, you should create some kind of you know brand based off your Right. I like that it's got vowel, letter, vowel, letter, initial vowel, like like Anisa Oliva. Like there's a there's an iambic pentameter to it. Ooh, you know what I mean? There's yeah. there's like a rhythm. It's like a, a very specific roller coaster. I like that it's got an I centered, a a like it's a it's a very aesthetically pleasing visually name and it sounds good. Nice work, parents. Dude, <laughs> yeah, they did good work. Solid. They really did. You have a nice symmetrical array. Right, of you see, vowels like it and starts a, ends man. a, s like cinder eyes and vowels all around. You have a very yeah. You have a very symmetrical and very both visually but also aurally pleasing name. Yeah, which is so cool. Not every name you know has that ring, but yours do. As a coy Jandro, uh, <laughs> you also have a Star Wars looking name. Like, my name looks like a Star Wars character, so does yours. I think it's all the vowels. Like, if you look at my name visually, right, it looks fake. It does. And Anissa Oliva probably understands that exact plight. <laughs> the plight of gift. having a fake-looking name. Right, though. people all the time, they're like, there's no way. I'm like, that's my name. That is awesome. Uh, that's, that's a cool position to be in if you're, if you're not resentful Welcome to the it. club, Anissa Oliva. Cool name club. And may the force be with you both. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.